In this example problem, we will be adding the F1 and F2 together. In order to add these, you could use the law of sine and cosine, but I want to practice adding vectors using their components. Therefore, we need to get F1 and F2 vector components. F1 is straightforward. It is given by a 30 degrees already related to the negative x-axis. So we can put in F1 magnitude 3 kips, negative cosine of 30, positive sine of 30. And I put the 0 in the z direction as a placeholder to remind ourselves that we are in a three-dimensional world. F2 is a little bit more complicated. We can easily identify the seven kips, but what angle is it related to the positive or negative x-axis? You might be able to see this right away, but we are going to step through the windmill problem so that we can get some practice doing that. With the windmill, I like to start by identifying our final desired axis. In this case, that's the positive x and positive y. Then I'll go through and put in the secondary axis, which I've defined as the normal and tangential, perfectly defined by 45 degrees. N and T. And for practice sake, I'm still going to go through and put in these angles with every other one, even though we know that every single slice is 45 degrees. Given to us is this 90 degree. And 90 degrees down from that positive T is the negative normal. So this one breaks down really easy because everything's given in 45 degrees, but we can still use it as an example problem. Going up 45 and down 90, that will be, and when we're looking for this angle, that will be 90 degrees minus 45, which gives us 45 degrees in this location which we could already kind of tell given the original problem and knowing that this is 90 degrees. So you may have been able to see on the actual diagram that this is 45 and 45. Writing it down in this way would be like taking a part of the windmill problem and putting it on your page. Sometimes you don't need to draw the entire things. Other times you might find it helpful. So in this case, we have a positive 45, negative, sine, 45, 0 for the um, z component. Simplifying these down gets us a negative 2.598 and a 1.50 hips and the F2. 4.95 and negative 4.95 kips. Adding these together, x and y give us the values of 2.35 and negative 3.45. So the vector that we were asked to define, f1 plus f2, is 2.35 and negative 3.45 kips.